I'm using a galvanized pail that I got from Walmart for less than $5. And I'm gonna be using some brown chalk paint from Folk Art, but you really can use just any brown acrylic paint that you wanna use. We're gonna be applying the, the paint to our galvanized pail with kind of a, a dry brushing kind of random stroke technique. And then from there, I'm applying some white paint, white acrylic paint, just to kind of mute it a little bit and give it a little more dimension. And then I'm just going over it with my sponge just to kind of blend it all together. And I'm gonna let this give, you know, get a little time to dry. And then I'm gonna do the same process again until I'm happy with the overall product. So I'm just gonna let this dry for a little bit and then we will move on to our next step. So in this step, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking three of these cute little pumpkins that I got from Dollar Tree. I'm using just a normal paintbrush with some of my white paint. I'm just using a white acrylic, uh, white acrylic paint, and then I'm just kind of brushing and really just trying to paint this pumpkin overall just full white. And we're going to do this on the other ones as well. So for this next step, what I'm taking is my X-Acto blade and I'm sawing off the stems of my styrofoam pumpkins. And after that has been completed, I am going to be sawing through my pumpkins. So I'm taking a kind of a larger knife for this project. And I just wanna say, if anyone is trying to uh, do this project, please be careful, go slow. And for my next step, I am taking a brush and I'm actually taking some Mod Podge, it's, it's a homemade Mod Podge. So I took some tacky white glue and mixed it with water thoroughly and I'm covering my entire pumpkin with this Mod Podge and then applying my fabric that I had chosen. Now this fabric that I have is scrap fabric that I used for several other projects in the past, but I really thought it would be wonderful for this um, decor that I'm creating. I've also seen this project done with paper towels. So if you have a really cute design with paper towels, you could also do that. Or if you have another fabric that you prefer, I highly recommend it. So just going around, adding a little bit here and there. And then once that part is done, I am going back over with my brush and my Mod Podge, and I'm just completely covering it until the entire pumpkin is damp. And then we're gonna let it dry. So for my next step, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking my fabric and I'm actually going to be applying it to a paper towel holder that I got from Dollar Tree. I'm going to be wrapping the fabric around the base of my paper towel holder and then just using hot glue to secure it. Once I have applied the fabric to the base, we are going to be bringing out our, our galvanized pail that I aged and I am going to be placing the paper towel holder on top of it. And the slits that I had cut into my pumpkins before I wrapped them, I'm just using those as kind of a guide so that I can cut through the fabric so that those slits are still uh, accessible. And from there, I'm gonna be bringing out some moss that I got from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to be stacking my pumpkins on top of the paper towel holder through the slit and then I'm applying the moss with hot glue around the areas that I kind of want to mask off, but also to really give it kind of a, a fun, mossy, farmhouse, rustic look, but also with a little bit of style. So once I've done one pumpkin, I am moving on to the next and continuing with the moss all the way up until I get to my third pumpkin all the way at the top. And I had a branch from my backyard and then I used hot glue to apply it to the top pumpkin. And then I'm applying some more moss around the base of where I glued it. I hope this inspired you to create your own pumpkin Dollar Tree topiary for your home. The first step of this easy peasy process is going to be to paint our pumpkin white. You can use any kind of chalk or mineral paint that you so desire. Um, the brand does not matter and it won't make a difference. A lot of times before I start, I'll just do the very bottom right here so that I'll be able to set my pumpkin down after it's painted and I'm holding it by the stem and it won't be wet and I won't have to sit there and hold it for like an hour type of thing. So we wanna get a quick coat of paint on here. 
On the second step, it's pretty easy peasy too. When you get your decoupage paper, it's gonna come in large sheets. So it's already been folded up. So you basically know where the center point's gonna be, about right there. So we'll just take our decoupage paper, get a little hole started in it. So now we've got our decoupage paper ready for the quick install that I'm about to show you. And now that we've let our pumpkin dry and we've got that white base coat that we needed and we cut that hole in our decoupage paper, we're gonna test this hole real quick and see it fits the pumpkin stem perfectly. That is exactly what we wanted to see. So now we're gonna use our decoupage medium gel. You can use Mod Podge, you can use whatever you so desire. We are not worried about the stem, but we do wanna make sure that we have plenty of this on. All around the entire pumpkin and the bottom. We'll come over here. Take our deco part. And begin wrapping it down. These are supposed to be spooky. These are not supposed to be super, super flawless. That's not what Halloween is all about. So we're gonna take this off. That's why this is family friendly. You'll need a pair of scissors, a paintbrush, a little bit of paint. Not an issue right here at all, as it will get more adhesion. We'll just start applying our medium liberally on the bottom as well. It will cause the entire thing to stick. Now that we have the glue on, this glue is water-based, guys, and it's a water cleanup. Super, super easy easy. Now that we've let our decoupage medium glue dry, now we're going to use some metallic gold here. Let's start coming down here and doing the stem. I'll move it around for you guys so that you can see as I go. It won't take very much. We'll just go around the base a little bit. We're just using a little like 99 cent art brush from Walmart. Nothing major. We're going to close our paint right here. We'll shake it. We'll take the lid back off. Easy peasy tip so that you won't have to dip into your jar of paint. Get this one ready. My name is Dustin Van Fleet of Dustin Van Fleet Design. I hope you guys loved this quick, easy, simple fall tutorial that looks fabulous in any home. I'm gonna do like three of these and then probably set something up in my house with all three of them. And I'll catch you guys on the flip side.